Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can create a loan amortization table for a 15 year mortgage. So starting off, we need to know three things. Number one, we need to know the loan amount, right? So let's say for our home on our 15 year mortgage, we're buying a $300,000 home, let's say. The next thing we need to know is the interest rate. So let's say for this mortgage loan, we're looking at a 3.5%. All right, then the last thing we need to know ahead of time is the years for this mortgage or the time period. So technically for this table that we're about to set up, you could do it for a 30 year mortgage or maybe a five year car loan. But in this example, we're gonna stick with 15 years for a 15 year mortgage, right? And we're just gonna put that in general terms. And we'll just format this a little bit. So this is what we need to know, all right? Just these three things in order to create our loan amortization table. Now using this information, we need to figure out the monthly payment. So here we need to know the present value, future value, the rate, which we already know, but we need to put it in terms of months. So we need to convert the interest rate to a monthly rate because you're gonna be paying your mortgage monthly not yearly, generally speaking. And then you need to know your end per, your number of periods, and that will also be monthly. And that'll help us find our PMT or our payment function, right? So I'll format this real quick. And this, this monthly pay, this will also be monthly, all right? So our present value is just the $300,000, the cost of the loan. And then our future value is gonna be zero because in the future, we want this to be zero dollars, right? So at the end of the 15 years, we're not gonna have a loan anymore. So the future dollar, the, so the future value will be zero. And then our rate, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our annual rate, just divide it by 12. And we'll put that as a percentage. And that's 0.29% monthly. And then our number of periods is gonna be the years, and we're gonna times that by 12. So the duration of a 15 year mortgage would be 180 months. So then we do a simple PMT function, but we're gonna to wanna to do negative PMT, which is a function already built within Excel. So we're gonna want that monthly rate, as well as the number of periods and months. These are just like terms. Then our present value is 300,000, and our future value is $0. All right, so there we have our monthly payment is gonna be $2,144.65, all right? So now that we know that, we can create a loan amortization table. So creating a loan amortization table is useful, especially the way we're gonna set it up. And we're gonna set it up so that you can add extra payments each month to the loan. So maybe instead of $2,145, bucks, we are you know, contributing $3,000, an extra 850 bucks to our loan for a particular month. And we'll see how that affects the loan, how much faster we can pay it off by just doing small extra payments. So we need to create some categories here. First, we need to know the periods, right? And so this is gonna be in terms of months. We're gonna know the payment required which would be the $2,145 each month. And then we're gonna determine what percent of that payment is interest and what percent of that payment is principal. Then we're gonna add the extra payment column and then we'll show our remaining loan balance each month after each payment. So we'll kind of widen these a little bit that and we'll just color these like green or something like that. So for this table, we're gonna to wanna to skip the first line and we're just gonna to wanna to put our our original loan balance, and then we'll start with the first month. We're gonna to wanna to go down all the way to 180. So we can just do one, two, and then we can copy this all the way down to 180. We'll go back to the top here. And then our monthly payment is gonna be the same every month, the $2,145. We're gonna lock that cell, which is FNF4, or you can just put dollar signs there. Right, and so then when we drag that down, it's gonna stay the same, it's just gonna reference this cell. So then interest is then calculated based off the remaining loan balance of the previous month. So the way that calculation works is you're just gonna take the previous loan balance and you're gonna times that by our monthly interest rate. And we'll go ahead and lock that cell as well. And that's how much interest we're paying for the first month 
based off that $2,145. We'll get rid of that decimal and we can drag that down. And actually, let's, let's just show the decimals. Doesn't hurt anything. All right, so the reason this is zero dollars is because we don't have any, any values in these columns, right? Principal is calculated pretty simply. You just take the payment might and you subtract the interest. So you know that $1,269 is going towards your principal payment, right? And then in, let's say in the first month we have a zero extra payment. We have zero dollars extra payment. And then our loan balance is just going to be the previous month's balance. We're going to subtract the principal, and then we'll also subtract any extra payments. So then we have our balance here. And then if we drag those ones down, and actually we'll just want to keep this as zero. So we'll keep that as zero. And then if we and then we know if we set the table up correctly that if at the end of year 180, we're at zero dollars because that's when the loan should be paid off entirely after 180 months or 15 years with no extra payments. And I'll format that's really quick. Just kind of. So then looking at this, you can kind of see the relationship between interest on a loan and principal on a loan. So the lower your balance gets, you're paying less interest, but then your principal payment is also increasing. So you can see here, interest is decreasing and your principal is increasing. So that's just a quick way to create a loan amortization table for a 15 year mortgage. Now let's say we have a couple extra payments in here. So let's say that the first month we paid, we had an extra $200 we wanted to put, then let's say 300, put 400, maybe 100, just kind of some random numbers. And then after the seventh month here, we decided we don't want to do any more extra payments. Maybe our our side income went dry or we're just spending things in different areas, but we're not including any more extra payments. But then we can see how this extra $1,750 contributed to this loan payoff affects how quickly we'll pay the loan off and affects how much interest we're paying as well as principal. So if we go back down here, we can see that if we contributed that $1,715, we're in the negative here, right? So that means that at some point, at between month 178 and 179, our loan has been paid off. So essentially, contributing that extra $1,750 is going to decrease our loan period by two months. So we're going to pay our loan off two months sooner by just contributing an extra couple hundred dollars for the first few months. Now let's say instead our extra payment was $100 and we just did an extra $100 every single month. So if we go back down, we can see that around month 169 and 170 is when our loan will be completed. So that's an extra 10 months we're taking off the duration of the loan by contributing an extra $100 monthly to the loan. So that's a quick, easy way to figure out your payment based off of your loan amount, interest rate, and number of years, as well as how to create a loan amortization table with extra payments and, and how that will affect the duration of the loan. This also kind of outlines the relationship between interest your remaining loan balance, and your principal pay down on the loan. So understanding how to create this table really helps you understand how loans work, helps you understand how beneficial it is to have extra payments with your loan, and overall understand what you're getting into when you're taking out a 15-year mortgage. All right, hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions below, please leave a comment, subscribe, smash the like button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.